Hi guys, welcome back. Um, bit of a different video today, it's an update video. Um, I'm at home, I'm on the patio um, in just outside Newmarket in Suffolk. Um, looks like it's about to rain, it's 15, 16 degrees. Uh, so it's not like Tenerife, it's not like Mallorca. No good, a little bit cold, still got the shorts and t-shirt, but it's all good. Uh, so the update video, a uh, little bit different to normal. Um, so yeah, basically, you guys won't know this, but it was touched upon on Tim's channel when I did a walk with him. Um, I've got a pacemaker, a um, bit of a strange one, obviously I'm 34 years old, uh, so it's quite young to have a pacemaker. I'm actually on my third pacemaker. Um, so I've had, I've had the first one when I was five years old, back in, I think it was March 1995, um, and I'm now on my third. Uh, it's a bit like Trigger's Broom because you you, <laughs> you have pacemakers and then you have leads and you have leads that go from the pacemaker to your heart. Um, so I'm on about, I'm on a third pacemaker and I think the third or fourth set of leads, sometimes they'll get changed at the same time, sometimes they won't. It depends if you've got a problem with the lead, a uh, bit like anything really. Um, it's always the lead, isn't it? Usually the iPhone cable. But yeah, third or fourth set of leads, third pacemaker. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because I'm about 53 hours in to a 72 hour tape. Uh, so you normally have a 24 hour or a 72 hour tape. And essentially it's um, a recorded tape. <clears throat> I've got a device fitted to me with some leads um, and it's like a long ECG if you like, I'll show you. Uh, so you've got, got this device here, this is a recording device, clips onto your belt hook and then you've got leads, leads going up with stickers attached to a couple of places on your chest. So if you've ever, if you've ever been to A&E and had an ECG, uh, it's very similar to this, apart from this portable machine. Uh, this thing is obviously even more portable, it clips on your belt. It's about the size of an old Walkman. Um, I have had one of these before. Again, I was quite young, I was about four years old from memory. And it was, uh, <coughs> it was like the size of a VHS uh, cassette, like a video, an old style video. Um, you can imagine as a four year old, you're running around I think I went to a birthday party at the time, a fancy dress birthday party. And I had, obviously I've got this strapped on the, on the shorts and it's, it's nothing. But uh, I had like a VHS style tape attached to me. Um, it's, pr it's pretty easy, you know, you, you forget about it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the update. The reason that I've got this is uh, I'm feeling fine, I'm all good. Uh, as you know, I've been to Mallorca, I've been to Tenerife within the last couple of months. Before that, I was in Gran Canaria. But basically, uh, Boxing Day last year, so the Christmas just gone, and then mid-February, um, I had a couple of episodes where I wasn't feeling particularly great. Um, one of those times I was in the town centre, basically blacked out. Um, couldn't walk, vision went, dizziness. I was sitting down and I've got one of these, well I haven't got it on anymore, <laughs> but I've got one of these fitness watches that tracks your heart rate um, and I saw my heart rate drop from uh, basically it was 86 beats per minute which is for me that's quite normal uh, and it dropped down to under 50 beats per minute within the space of about 10 seconds uh, which meant I just went boom. Um, before you know it, Leanne's called an ambulance. That was gonna take about an hour. So one of my friends actually came and picked me up, dropped me at A&E, spent seven hours there. I've then been to London, seen a consultant, or my, my normal consultant, if you like. Uh, he's done a couple of tests, altered a couple of medications, or one medication, I'm on something called lisinopril, which uh, is a little bit of a blood pressure. It will affect your blood pressure, which it, this might be linked to. That's why that's been dropped a little bit. I was on a little dose, old lady dose anyway, but that's been halved. 
um, but essentially lysinopril will just uh, doesn't thin your blood but it lowers your blood pressure and it, it's basically uh, it's kind of like stress relief for your heart it makes everything go a little bit smoother um, which which is good it sort of relaxes you doesn't put too much pressure on your arm um, so that's a good thing so that's been dropped um, that dose has been dropped which is good um, but they also wanted me to do this the 70 to 200 tape just to see a good sort of time period um, as I said I haven't had one of these episodes for since February so I'm not sure how relevant it's gonna be because I'm gonna be you know I'm all right but um, it's worth it's worth doing anyway um, so yeah that's that's the kind of that's the kind of update for today I've got to get this thing taken off at 10 a.m. tomorrow had it fit it's 10 a.m. Tuesday uh, so that'll come off um, and I'll be I'll be good to go um, this is kind of normal practice for me not not the tape I haven't obviously I haven't had one of these for years but operations and heart heart stuff uh, for me is normal um, I'm on my 10th or 11th heart operation so far in my life so uh, you know one one every three years if you averaged it out that's what it works out at um, I've had about four in the last seven years so that's the sort of that's the sort of ratio that we're <laughs> that we're working with but it's all good I'm quite fit I'm quite healthy exercising regularly probably not as much as I should be or not as much as I used to I used to be really into my fitness uh, at one point or at some point maybe in a future video I'll ping up a picture um, of about six seven years ago uh, when I was really really into my fitness uh, we're talking six days a week uh, really strict diet weightlifting running everything um, but yeah uh, don't know if I'll even post this video but I thought I'd take it um, I thought a 24 hour or a 72 hour tape is not that common um, especially for some of my age but the thing is a lot of my viewers so YouTube analytics and YouTube studio tells me that the majority of my viewers are actually between the ages of 35 um, and 65 plus and with a good chunk of those being 45 plus uh, so this actually might be quite applicable to some of you guys um, if you have it in the future or if you know someone who, who's going to be having something like this either a tape or a pacemaker or any sort of kind of heart concern um, it might be quite interesting for you to know that it's it's not as uncommon as you think it is um, don't worry about it uh, what i would say is the nhs and the medical team that, that have been looking after me uh, for the last 34 years have been fantastic um, and it's 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 pretty easy going uh, with this you wouldn't even notice it it's only on for 72 hours so it's not a big deal and then the rest of my stuff uh, you wouldn't even know about it in fact as I said when I did my walk with Tim it wasn't till afterwards uh, we had a walk we had a chat and a coffee that's that's fantastic really enjoyed being on his live when I was in Tenerife after our coffee, he's like, oh, I need my mic back. Uh, can I just grab it? And I'm like, yeah, no worries. So I go to take it off and I go, oh, how's that connected? And he goes, oh, it's a magnet. And I'm, I was like, what? You're joking. And he went, no, why? And I'm like, oh no, I've got, got, got a pacemaker. Um, so yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a magnet near a pacemaker. You can't go through the, uh, the scanner at the airport. And also look out for the iPhones as well. iPhone 12, iPhone 13. Um, I'm filming this on an iPhone 11, which is all good, but the 12 and the 13 have magnets built into them. Um, if you look on the Apple website, there's actually like an advisory or a warning about them. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do when I need a phone upgrade. <laughs> I think I'm stuck on the 11 for a while, or maybe I'll have to go to Android, but I've sort of been there, done that. Started off on iPhone, then went Android, well, I started off on Nokia, like everyone else. But yeah, done iPhone, done Android, came back to iPhone, um, but I don't know where I'm going next. Um, but yeah, just a, just a quick update for today. That's what's happening with me. Friday morning, I'm going to have this off. Uh, as I said, I'm just outside Newmarket. It looks like it's about to rain. 
Uh, no racing on today, but there is tomorrow. Uh, always during the summer, Friday afternoons in Newmarket. Uh, you've got racing, starts about 5.30 uh, till about 8.30, quarter to nine. And then you've got a band that's gonna be an act on. Um, not sure who it is for the next couple of weeks, but on the 21st of July, Friday 21st, we've got Craig David's coming to Newmarket, um, and I'm going to that. I don't know if I'll bring you guys with me. Not sure, I'm, I'm out with the boys, uh, so we'll be having some bets and some drinks. I don't really wanna be walking around with a gimbal. They'll be crucifying me if I am, but yeah, maybe I can get some footage of what Newmarket races is like and show you guys, or I'll go on a, a quieter day and show you what it's like. But um, yeah, that's my update for today. As I said, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna post this, I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just not sure. Um, as I said, it's not, it's obviously quite a big part of my, my life, but it, it sort of is, but it isn't, because it's just, uh, I'm like fit and well, and I don't even notice it, so, uh, I don't really feel the need to mention it um, unless it's a talking point. But yeah, that's that's that for today. Um, I hope you guys are all good. Um, if this does go out, then uh, just like it if you've enjoyed it. If not, give it a thumbs down. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.